The U.S. Attorney General now backs a plan to build a controversial cemetery in Collin County and is ready to sue the city of Farmersville, which has delayed the project for years. CBS 11's J.D. Miles is in Farmersville to explain. This undeveloped 32-acre spread would already be a cemetery for the Islamic Association of Collin County, if not for the three years of delays many here believe are an effort to undermine the project. Now the federal government says Farmersville is violating the Religious Land Use Act and has ordered the city to stop stonewalling. Well, it's not going to happen in Farmersville. Farmersville City Council faced fierce opposition from residents in 2015 when a proposal for a Muslim cemetery along Highway 380 came up for approval. Coming above the water when we get rain just like we did, and it's going to be in our drinking yes, system. Whether it was because of religious bigotry or just an unusually slow approval process, the proposal from the Islamic Association of Collin County has languished for three years. It's been long enough that the Office of the U.S. Attorney General has approved a lawsuit against the city if it doesn't allow the cemetery to be approved. Well, it was a shock. Farmersville Mayor Randy Rice and other city leaders got the news last week. Hopefully we can get it done and, and move forward. There is still some resistance in the city. Rice was elected in May in a close election on a promise to accept the Muslim organization's rightful ownership of the land and desire to build what they want within the law. But some town residents like Kat Donnell, who publishes a monthly newsletter, believes there are valid reasons for opposing the cemetery. I don't think there's a large enough Muslim community here to warrant taking up that much space of that much valuable property. The Department of Justice has agreed to put off filing the lawsuit to give the city and the Islamic Association of Collin County time to negotiate a settlement and allow the controversial cemetery to finally gain approval. In Farmersville, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.